What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome back to DAP Central. My name is Farid, and in today's video, I've got some exciting news to share with you guys surrounding some progress, specifically a pre prod testnet launch for Ada Handle and personalization. Now, if it's your first time hearing about Ada Handles, I would be extremely surprised, but they're an NFT powered wallet naming solution, which has been widely adopted on the Cardano network. Over the course of the next few days, I'll be interviewing Mr. Goose from the team, breaking down what we can expect when it comes to personalization, as well as their additional roadmap um, milestones coming up very, very soon. So if you guys want to find out more about Ada Handles, you can head over to their official website, which is available at adahandle.com. As it reads here, they've minted over 220,000 of these custom NFTs, again, simplifying the process of sending and receiving Ada on Cardano. Now, this is just the beginning of this era here for this particular platform, and they've got such a huge roadmap that I want to briefly touch on before we get into the pre-prod testnet. Now, for full transparency, this is going to be my first time taking a look at this brand new feature again on the pre prod testnet. I'll leave the link to it down below, but excuse me if there's any hiccups or snags along the way. And if you do appreciate content like this, I would appreciate you if you could please tap that like button. If it's your first time that you and I are meeting each other, consider subscribing to this channel for more Cardano content. And if you have any questions for me surrounding anything that we're going to be breaking down as a part of today's Ada Handle update, then please make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. So we're going to quickly touch on their roadmap, and then we're going to jump straight into the pre-prod testnet. So as a part of Q2, which I believe we are still in right now, they are aiming to ship personalization, again, improving on some of their UI, and then implementing official vendor self-registration. I believe as a part of the initial launch of personalization, they'll be selecting select vendors to collaborate with in terms of options that you can use to actually personalize your NFTs. You could imagine that if they open this up um, right away that we would have a lot of different quality of projects and they're making sure to kind of keep that in check by selecting or working with a few vendors that they've already kind of vetted now as a part of q3 they'll be shipping out their sub handle protocol as well as the um, personalization marketplace and then they'll also be doing some research and development as well as potentially implementing domains through personalizations or through their nfts very lastly as a part of q4 or closing out the end of this year we'll see the beginning of the build out and rollout of their peer-to-peer -peer renting system which i'm extremely excited for given the fact that we'll be able to rent out our own ada handles in order to earn some passive income and again you don't have to sell it right um, that's the key part here you can purchase these on secondary marketplaces like jpeg.store but imagine renting out an ada handle and being able to do that, you know, on a week in, week out basis, always knowing or being reassured that you're going to get that ADA handle back. Now, one other thing, too, that they have talked about, um, which I kind of glossed over was as, as a part of Q3 was these uh, sub handles. And there's going to be two versions of those. There's, I believe, going to be a virtual one. And then there's actually going to be um, one that is minted on chain that you basically have full ownership of. So really, really interesting progress and really interesting ideas coming from this team and I'm excited to continue covering them here over the course of the next few months. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump into their pre-prod testnet. Now, if you're looking for information or instructions, we do have Mr. Goose, who's a part of the team, dropping a little bit of alpha and some knowledge here surrounding how you can get access to this platform. So the first thing we'll need to do is get a wallet on pre-prod, get some test data, and then we can head over to the website, which I'll leave linked down below in order to get the process started. So I already have a wallet, which is available on pre-prod. I'm going to be using the Lace wallet, and I believe they recommend Eternal or Lace, given the fact that they have had some minor issues with other wallets. Now, keep in mind, that's the point of a testnet is to basically break things fast and iterate and fix them. And so again, for now, I do recommend using Lace or Eternal. I already have a Lace wallet. And I've already switched over to the pre-prod testnet and I've already scooped up some test data. If you need any help doing any of that, feel free to head over to their Discord and they will be more than happy to help you um, go through that initial process. Now, before we connect our wallet, I just want to show this particular ADA handle here, which looks very amazing. Let me see if I can open, the, open this up in a separate tab. 
I mean, take a look at this beauty here. Let me get myself out of the way. We've got a customized PFP of Mr. Goose right there in the middle. We've got the Ada Handle tag at the top left. We've got the rarity of the Ada Handle, I believe, at the top right. We've got Conrad Preprod right below, which is the actual name value of the NFT itself. And then we've got a Twitter handle at the bottom as well as a Discord handle. And then at the bottom right hand side, we've got a QR code to probably um, quickly uh, and easily be able to send funds or ADA to this particular address. So this is what we've been waiting for. And I really love the background here with a very calm and relaxing vibe. But I can't tell you, I mean, I've had multiple people asking me, when can we finally be able to customize our ADA handles? And it looks like that time is finally here. So let's go ahead and just dive straight on in. I'm going to click on connect my wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and select the lace wallet, which I already have on the pre prod test net. I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms of services and click on continue. And I've already accepted the DAP connector, so my wallet is automatically connected. Next, I'm gonna click on get a handle. And I'm gonna see if I can mint one here. So this is the pre-prod testnet. I'm gonna click on connect wallet. Agree to the terms and services again. I'll connect my Lace wallet again. I'll authorize the connection between the wallet and this particular website and we are ready to mint a handle so i'm going to mint my handle confirm i'm not a robot and i'm redirected to the actual minting page so let me go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and just do dap.central let's see if we can mint that handle it is available all right we're just going to purchase this here And I believe the transaction has been signed. So at this point, we are just going to give this a couple of minutes to basically process on chain. And as that's occurring, again, I urge you guys to go ahead and pick up some NFTs. If you guys don't already own ADA handles, they've made my life a whole lot easier. And we're seeing this particular protocol being integrated in so many platforms. We actually just saw it get integrated into the Lace wallet, which is what I'm using for today's video. But it's also integrated on some of the top DEXs, including MinSwap and Sunday Swap. Now, what I want to do is just take a quick break and again, just wait for this transaction to complete. And as soon as it's done, we're going to go ahead and jump back over to the personalization platform. All right. So that was actually much faster than I anticipated. The NFT has been sent over into my lace wallet. So let me go ahead and show you guys here. And as you guys can see there, I have my DAP Central NFT within my lace wallet. If I click on it, I can see the actual NFT here. So let's head back over to the official platform and we're going to go ahead and refresh our wallet. Again, if you want to get access to this, you can head over to preprod.handle.me and from there you can connect your wallet. So very quick, very smooth experience so far. And I'm really excited to see what we're going to run into next. So I see my ADA handle here. I'm going to click on it, click on continue. And we are officially in again. This is my very first look here. And so you guys are getting my live reaction as to um, how this platform is going to function. So I'm going to get myself off screen here just for a little bit, just to give you guys the full experience here. And I've got my NFT so I can see it there. So on the left hand side, we've got the designer, which is where I'm currently at. And this is going to give me the ability to customize my PFP or my profile picture, my background, the text, social media, and then add the QR code. There's also a portal here, which looks like from here we can display or manage how our ADA handle is displayed, excuse me. And then at the very bottom there, we can add some social media links to our handles. So let's start with the designer here. And then if I actually click on this up here at the very top, it looks like I can potentially select different um, ADA handles that I might have stored within my wallet. For now, I'm going to continue with the DAP Central one. Now for the PFP, I do have to reach out to them within their Discord once I provide them the ADA handle that I'm using. So I'm not going to be able to do too much on this for now, but I'll see if I can go ahead and actually do that and then maybe add that clip to the end of this video. Next for my background, let's see here. Let me try to just toggle some of these here. I can add an NFT 
or I can do this by color. Let me just go ahead and try to do this potentially by color here. And I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can pick a nice fitting color. Nice. I really like this. So let me actually try to see if I can select an NFT. Nice, nice. So let me go ahead and pick Clay Nation. And let me see if there's any of them that look appealing. Let me just pick this particular background here. I really like this one here. This underworld one. I'm gonna click on done. And there we go. Awesome. Really, really awesome. So I've just gone ahead and added the actual background there. And so next, let's go ahead and mess with the text. So I can mess with some of the shadows here. And then potentially a ribbon, it looks like. Oh, nice. Very, very cool. Now, let's go into the socials section. And I cannot enable that just yet. Let me go into the QR code. I have gone ahead and just enabled that right there. And then I can also, let's see, remove a background it looks like. And then there's some dot colors. So really, really interesting concepts and themes here. Um, I did not expect this at all. So my ADA handle is now customized. I'm gonna pop myself back on the screen now. Let's see. So we've got a gallery. And I think this is what's going to be displayed here in the portal when somebody is choosing to potentially view the entire arsenal of ADA handles that I personally own. So this is going to kind of let me set up how I want my personal gallery or portal to look like when somebody else is visiting my um, ADA handle page. So really interesting concepts here, right? Where you could imagine you have the address, your personalized NFT, which I just got done creating, and then potentially any other NFTs that I might hold within that same wallet and then any of my social media handles or links. If I scroll down to the very last option here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Twitter account here. And I'm gonna click on save. And so the link is added. And if I jump back to the designer, let's see if I can actually enable. There we go. And we've got my brand new Twitter account added there to my ADA handle. Now, this is just the beginning. What I'm going to do is jump over into their official Discord here. And I'm going to see if I can get access to personalize and add a customizable PFP. So give me just a few seconds and I will be right back here with you guys to close out this video. All right, folks, we are back. I just got done contacting Conrad, who is one of the founders that actually attended um, Rare Bloom, I think, as well as CNFT Con last year. And again, they just made this process so simple. So I basically just pasted my Dapp Central pre prod. Um, NFT address within their Discord, and they were nice enough to send me two PFPs. So I'm now back into the designer. I'm now on the PFP section, and I'm gonna click on Add NFT. And as you can see here, I actually got four of them. I thought initially that I, that I didn't receive the NFTs, but I had. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this first one here, which is just Goose within my wallet. I'm gonna click on Done. And I'm gonna go ahead and just select it here, and boom. I've now got my customized PFP on my handle. Again, this is such a huge feature here, um, really giving people a sense of personalization and a sense of identity in a space that really, really needs it. So I think this is going to bring us to the end here. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly check out. So at the top here, I can see my wallet and I can see that there's gonna be a personalization and a network fee giving me a total of six ADA. And it does state modifications here at the top, but I'm not sure if that's going to be 28 or if that's just another number signifying something else. So I can now see everything that I've done to my NFT. I'm going to click on buy. And I think I have to actually buy the background as well. So it's going to ask me to actually purchase that NFT here. 
which for now I actually cannot do. So I'm not sure that I'll actually be able to finish out this transaction, but at least you guys can kind of get a sense as to what you can expect once you actually close things out and once you're ready to check out after customizing your own NFT. Again, a huge update here being released by the ADA Handle team. And if you guys don't already own one, I would really recommend you guys go ahead and check them out. If you found today's video to be helpful or insightful in any way, shape or form, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this covering Cardano and all the top builders in the ecosystem, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding anything that we broke down as a part of today's video, then please make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.